What's up, you guys? It's John Hallow168 here, and we're back with the Let's Play series with episode number eight. And I bring to you Town Hall 5 and all of its great glory and awesomeness. And with Town Hall 5, we've gotten some new buildings and new upgrades that we can do now uh, so we can uh, move our base and our village along uh, so we can keep making it better. Okay, so before I start doing going over the new buildings and what I've upgraded I want to talk about the new update that's coming out which is predicted to come out probably around Monday to Wednesday um, and there's some two things of two sneak peeks have been released uh, if you guys don't know where to see the sneak peeks you go to the Clash of Clans Facebook facebook.com slash Clash of Clans and they release a picture I'm not sure what their timetable is I think it's pretty random um, but they release a new snapshot, as they call it, of the of the new update coming out. And the ones that have been released so far is the level six minion and the gem box. And level six minion is pretty self-explanatory. There's a dark elixir troop, if you guys didn't know, called the minion, and it's currently maxed out level is five, and now they're gonna bring it to six. Um, so I think that's gonna be the first of the Dark Elixir Troops getting all of their levels to 6, just like the normal Elixir Troops. So that's going to be pretty exciting, especially it's going to be pretty intense when the Hog Rider gets to level 6. I don't even know what that's going to be like. Uh, on my bigger account, I'm trying to work up to the Hog Riders and stuff, so I'm, I'm super pumped for that. Okay, so uh, with the Gem Box, all right, the next thing is the Gem Box, and the Gem Box is going to be an obstacle. Uh, it's an obstacle. Uh, people refer to trees and bushes and mushrooms and stuff as obstacles. The technical term in Clash of Clans is obstacles. Um, so that's a new obstacle um, where it's it's a box of gems. It looks like a box of gems. And in the picture they have like a rainbow <laughs> going over it. It's pretty cool. Uh, so that's going to be pretty uh, I, I'm not sure how many gems it's going to hold. I'm hoping it's a lot. Uh, people have been making predictions all over the place, but I I can't be certain for sure. I mean, only when the update comes out, we'll find out. And the trees and bushes and everything else are just going to get an up on the gems. Uh, so more gems can are going to be able to be found inside of those trees and mushrooms and um, everything else, obstacles, period. Um, so, yeah, that's really exciting. So, I suggest you guys keep your um, current obstacles out and um, wait for the update to remove them because they're going to be a lot more profitable. And so, I'm really looking forward to that. That's definitely going to help me not spend gems and stuff uh, and get to that fourth builder. Um, it's going to be sweet. So, let's get into the Town Hall 5 stuff and the real let's play. So, we got... Um, Lots of new buildings in the shop. So we, obviously nothing in treasure. Treasure is just freaking treasure. Uh, in the resources, we got a new elixir collector and a new gold mine. So that's awesome. And I've built both of those. We got the uh, gold mine ready to level 6 and the uh, elixir collector to level 5. So let's jump on over to the army. Got a new army camp, a new spell factory. And I have built the army camp, got that to level 3 in the spell factory, which is uh, only level 1, but I can, can't really do anything else because it's maxed out for a ton of 5. I've gotten a lightning spell, which is its only or first spell in the spell factory, to level 2. I can get it to level 3. I'll try to start doing that after my archers uh, finish upgrading to level 3. So let's go back to the shop and jump into defenses. I got a new cannon and a new cannon there and a new archer tower and 25 new walls and a wizard tower, which is pretty beast, as well as an air bomb. So the uh, let's go over those. I've built all of them. I have the new cannon here. It's level three. The new archer tower getting to level four, just about an hour and a half left. I got the new wizard tower here, already getting itself to level 2. Um, really happy about that, because the wizard tower is just freaking boss. Uh, it's, it's awesome. It's been really, really helpful. Uh, I've also uh, upgrades. So that's all of the, that we got for Town Hall. Oops. Town Hall 5 buildings there. Uh, let's go over. I've done some upgrades um, since uh, 
while I was upgrade. Actually, no, when I just got my new town hall level because we got new levels on all of the buildings. So I got my mortar to uh, level three, which is the max for town hall five, which is super helpful because it does a lot more damage. Um, we got uh, what is else? I got the elixir storages and gold storages to level nine, which is their respect respectively max out level. I got the laboratory to level three because um, that's a, that's maxed out actually, and. I have started working on this gold mine to get it out to level 9, and I think that wraps it up. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And I think, uh, alright, let's go over this new base that I have here. It's a farming base, because uh, uh, if you guys don't know what farming is, it's basically protecting your resources and not your trophies. Um, I don't really care about trophies. I decided I'd want to try to, uh, you know, just try out some farming for a while. Because, you know, I'm really going for the resources. Trophies are nice and they're fun to have. Um, but they don't really mean as much to me as if I lose. I'd, I'd rather lose four, tro four or five or 30 trophies rather than lose, like, 200,000 in resources. So, that's pretty cool. Um, so let's go over my base, actually. We got the wizard tower holding up the back and the mortar holding up the front. I um the clan castle is often referred to as the most important defensive unit. But I I I didn't I don't know. I didn't really my I I didn't mind putting it out here cuz I'm not really requesting too too much with this account and um it isn't that big of a a deal. Uh, for me right now. That's why I put it out in the front, you know, just kind of being showing. It's like, woo. Yeah, I know. Once again, you guys are totally allowed to join my clan. Uh, just request and we'll let you in and it's a, it's a party up in here. It's, it's pretty fun. Um, so yeah. So I got the mortar covering the front, wizard in the back, got the cannons kind of spread out, and the archer towers in the back there. I got the, I put the air defense in the front because I think people will be attacking from the front a lot more than the back because the town halls in the front and they'll just be coming after they destroy that they'll just kind of start moving forward uh, I got you know I got buildings protecting all of those um, defenses so it takes if you're using archers barbarians um, everything except for like things that are defense oriented then you're pretty good uh, I'm pretty good you have to get through like at least two or three buildings to get really into the the defenses so that'll give them a lot of time to shoot at you. And all the all the buildings are covered by a defense. So there's no building left, except for the town hall, that is left alone. Uh, even even that builder's hut is covered. So that's that's pretty that's pretty awesome. So that is the new method to my madness of farming. Uh, I'm I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, it's when did I change to it? It was oh no, that's my tax. <laughs> um, Let's see. I think this is the first one. This is the first one I've actually replayed. Let's just go over um, how this guy tried to attack. They just go for your town hall. And when they go for your town hall, I mean, my clan castle immediately gets activated. I mean, that's pretty much a lot of trouble for them because, I mean, those are level 6 archers. And I don't even know what level wizards, but they're higher level wizards than this guy probably has. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, the cannon castle gets act activated, and I mean, it's obvious this guy is just trying to go for my town hall, because the town hall I mean, free trophies, yay! But it's a big yay for me because it's a free 12-hour shield, and you basically don't get that many resources. It's cool with me if you get some collector loot. I'm down. He tries to go for kind of a full-on assault. Yeah, the wizard tower is just freaking beast. Like I said, they just get knocked out. Yeah, three, two, one. I lose eight trophies, but I'm fine with that. You only got like a thousand, four thousand in resources. So it's been working out for the first battle. So <laughs> yay! Uh, I and I think to end this episode up, I wanted to uh, go on a raid because raids are always fun to watch. And hopefully, I can get my. Uh, let's see, how much does the lightning spell cost? Five hundred thousand. So I guess I'll be our next kind of goal with uh, elixir. Gold wise, I guess I don't know. Just getting those elixir collectors up. Oh no, and the the air defense. That that'll be our gold goal. <laughs>
So I'll catch you guys back with a raid in uh, just a second. Hey, what's up, you guys? I've got the raid here for you, and wow, this guy has a lot of money, and uh, and elixir too. I mean, it's like way more money than elixir or gold. That is, um, but that that's okay. I'm I'm cool with that. I think this is. Let's see. Let's see how to approach this. I'm gonna drop an archer here, an archer here, an archer here. Oh nope, not over there. That was that was a mistake. There. No, not there. Okay, let's just let's just freaking goblin. Goblins away. Go goblins. I'm gonna send some barbarians now. Let's get the barbarians rolling over here so they can take that pound in from the mortar and be just okay. We already have like all of his gold. Because it was all in his collectors, guys. So you see when the gold in that little box that it's going down, when that's full, you know there's a ton of money in that collector. Uh, that uh, Mine, that is. Sorry, I keep calling it a collector. Um, same with the elixir collectors. When you see it like that, right there, it's all full, then it's definitely a ton of elixirs in there. Um, let's just go ahead. Like I said, we don't really mind losing the trophies. Um... So I mean, we're probably gonna get fifty percent anyways. So what are we trying to go for? Where are the last oh there's one over here, okay. So let's let's make sure we get this one. It's probably gonna be I already got the fifty percent. That's good. I think those archers can get most of it, if not all of it. Here we get that. Mortar. <laughs> no mortar. No nice. Alright, let's just try to salvage as much elixir as we can. I think we're gonna use the last. Uh, oh, oopsies! That was a distraction. Okay, perfect. That's pretty good. I am totally okay with that. Woo! We got about one hundred and seventy-five thousand in loot, and I think that should uh, wrap us up for the Let's Play uh, episode today, episode eight. Uh, it's been it's been a quick episode. Uh, you know, we went over the base and stuff, but, uh, I think, uh, I'm going to be coming up with this new series. I'm not sure when I'm going to have the, the time to make the initial video for it. Uh, it's, it's been a super busy last two weekends. This weekend I got a ton of homework and I have to go to these, uh, things so that just last the entire day, uh, these, uh, debate tournaments. Uh, so it's been kind of a busy last two weeks. Hopefully this next weekend coming up, it's going to be less busy. And I can maybe squeak a new video, t two new videos out. Um, but for now, uh, I can't wait for the new update. I hope you guys can either. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll uh, catch you guys next time.